Hey folks, Rick from Rick's Review coming to you with another tip today. Are you tired of having to take the P-trap out of the bottom of your sink because your wife, your daughter, whoever it is who has long hair has accumulated their hair in your sink and clogged it up. Now you have a slow draining sink. You got to snake it out or take the P-trap out, clean out the P-trap, get rid of all that hair and be done with it. Maybe you're the woman who does the work in the family who actually does all of the do-it-yourself chores because your man doesn't know how to do it. Well, you have a tip. You have me on your side. I'm going to tell you how to do it. So what I decided to do was take out the little drain dealy, whatever the heck it's called, and I decided to take that out and take it into the shop and cut off part of it. I just saw the Lorraine and Bobby special the other day. Now part of it was already rusted and almost falling apart. If you look at the video, it looks like it's full of gunk and bacteria. It's actually full of rust. What I'm doing right here is I'm actually unscrewing the little cap there and I'm going to pull the ball out and that stainless steel shaft goes all the way through the ball and actually when you pull up on your plunger, it pushes like, or pull up on the little knob, it pushes the plunger up. This right here is actually rust and it's just about to fall apart. Okay, so what we have here is a little ball that I took out and I actually kind of broke off the tab with my fingers. It was pretty rusted. So I'm going to go ahead and grind it off with my chop saw. Now again, if you don't have a chop saw, there's something else you can use. You can buy this little attachment that goes into your drill, which hopefully you have a drill, and then you can actually cut it off the rest of the way with that drill. And here's that attachment. And I think it's like three or four dollars at the uh, hardware store. You can buy that at the hardware store. And there it is, a little bit ground off, but it's not complete. And then I, the next picture, you kind of see me pretty much have it smoothed out and I'm putting it underneath my sink and screwing it back into place. And I'm not going to have any more leaks. And the best thing is I'm not going to have any more clogs. Now you see my P-trap is removable. If you don't have a removable P-trap, then I say probably don't go ahead and do this. But if you do have a removable P-trap, then this makes life a whole lot easier. So I don't have to get down there, clean out the bottom of my sink, and then, you know, do all my work. So Now doing this isn't any different than your bathtub. Your bathtub does not have a little stopper in it, and does not have a little plunger with a hook where everything can hang on it, all your hair. It just flows freely down in your local sewage. So this is going to be the exact same thing. The only difference is we wash our hands in there, and people are afraid of dropping their earrings or their wedding rings. So if that's the case, you might not want to do this. But I have a P-trap that your wedding ring or your earrings will fall into. And again, my wife doesn't wear costume jewelry like that. That's plastic. That's that small. That's going to go down that drain. So I don't have to worry about it. So if you found it helpful, please give me that thumbs up. Click subscribe. Click that little bell to be notified of any future videos that I make. And remember, if I can save you a few bucks and give you a little help along the way, I will save you a few bucks. By the way, anyone has any comments, go ahead and post them down below. Negative or positive, doesn't matter. I want to hear from you. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. If you have any suggestions of videos that you want me to make, give me those suggestions.